Hey, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and we're doing another video with Atlantis Rising 2nd Edition from Elf Creek Games. You might ask, why another video? Well, first of all, Colin did our first playthrough, did an amazing job, of course. But if you watched my review or heard me talk with Jeremy Howard on our live stream, you know I really, really enjoy this game, too. But more than that, in a really classy move, Elf Creek Games is releasing a print-and-play expansion, and it's sort of a preview of a bigger upcoming expansion. Based on what I've seen, it's going to have more of everything the game already has, plus uh, some really cool modules with monsters and treasures. They were kind enough to print out and send me a little preview of this expansion. And the great thing is they're making this pay what you can. So they're suggesting $5, but you can pay as little or as much as you want. And they're going to donate part of the money they collect to COVID-19 research. So just a really great move by Elf Creek Games. So I'm not going to go through all of the setup and how to play things. Colin's video is amazing. I'm just going to talk quickly about the new elements. So first of all, they have some new components, uh, one for A, B, C, and D. I'm playing level two, so not super difficult difficult mode because the game's tough enough, so I'm not using the D one. But a neat touch is that each of these is focused on solo or low player count play. For example, they interact with the hologram that you only use in low player count games. They also sent a new leader, the Artisan, and he interacts with one of the new elements in the game, which are treasure cards. You can build these in the same way you would build components for the gate but they have cool powers. They have a little tokens that go with them and you can give them to different people each round and give them bonuses that they impart to the entire uh, part of the peninsula they're on. And except for the mirror shield, the artisan is the only one who can build them and he builds them at a one discount cost. So he's uh, pretty cool in his own right. But along with the treasures, you get the other new element, which is monsters. Here we've got the one that comes in the print and play, Medusa, along with her little petrification tokens. And she is a nightmare. She starts at the end of a random peninsula and uh, every turn, she'll bounce around to a new random place. And wherever she goes, she petrifies everybody there. And if nobody's there, she fills the entire space with petrified uh, volunteer units. And although you can potentially unpetrify them, it's super costly. So she just wrecks the island. But in a cool sort of narrative touch, if you build the treasure of the mirror shield, which doesn't need the artificer, you can actually break the curse on her and get her as a leader. Now, of course, you can always use her from the beginning as a new leader, but if you do that in game while playing with her, you get her as a bonus leader. She helps out the rest of you with her ability, which is to recruit followers and volunteers more quickly than normal. So we are going to roll to see where Medusa starts. Uh, for all of these, we'll say we go from one around to six. So one will always be the upper left there. We got a five, so she'll be here on the bottom crystal space. And again, the second she goes anywhere, she's going to petrify every Atlantean there. And if there aren't any Atlanteans, she's going to place volunteers there and then petrify all of them. So barring some special power to place extra units there because you can't unpetrify them unless you get someone in the space with them, uh, that place is dead to me. All right, so we're going to get to our first turn of placing Atlanteans. But first, since I'm playing a two-player, I'm using the hologram, so I'm going to draw two hologram cards. Or if you don't have these, you just use the uh, extra boards for the leaders. In this case, I have the Emissary or the Aquanaut. And in this case, the Emissary says any island tile containing the hologram will support one additional Atlantean beyond its maximum capacity. And that's clearly going to be more useful than the Aquanaut, who lets me free up a flooded tile, especially since we don't have any yet. Now to walk you through the magic items real quick, the mirror shield is the one that can break Medusa's curse. And I need eight Atlantium, which again you get from uh, smelting ore, so that's pretty expensive. The other ones which must be built with the Artificer Leader are the Helm of Visibility, which basically lets us ignore Medusa, so if we rush the mirror, we don't really need that one. The Winged Sandals are expensive, but pretty ridiculous. Now look, when your tile floods, take your action and then relocate to another tile where you might also take an action. And all the magic items have a remove effect, so I can just throw these away and not be able to use them, because normally they can be used every turn, uh, to cancel a basic flood on your peninsula. And these magic items affect everyone on your space. So if I had winged sandals, like on a space with three guys, all three of them could run away when the tile floods, taking their action and then still act later in the turn. Then crystal sword, another amazing one, plus two to die rolls in wild peninsulas to get resources. And you can remove it to allow an Atlantean to succeed on a failed roll. I don't see myself doing that. The plus two sounds too good. And I already talked about the artisan. My other leader I randomly selected is the mystic. And she can remove herself from a space to let somebody else there who failed a roll automatically succeed at the roll. So I think I'll put her there with a worker and then the hologram will give us a third space there. That gives us a good chance of getting uh, maybe two diamonds. I do think I want to go pretty heavy ore and Atlantium early and try to switch over Medusa as quickly as I can. 
And actually, it makes more sense to not uh, split our efforts and our resources, so let's do it like that. Actually, I'm thinking the Artisan could try to go for an early Crystal Sword. Remember, he gets a one resource discount, so I could take away one of the diamonds if uh, I send a Mystic Worker with him. And if he can get some Atlantium from that ore, then he should be able to make it work. So on the off chance, let's pair him with a Yellow Worker and send them over there. And let's switch uh, these guys around. We'll keep them on the uh, safer spaces. We'll go one in each. And actually, we'll do the same here so that if Medusa does roll on them, it won't be as catastrophic. And then what the hey, we'll do a yellow on a card space and just in case we get lucky, a gold space. Okay, now we're gonna suffer misfortune. Each player, the artisan and the mystic, will draw two cards. And then after we've done that, we'll roll a d6 twice. First to see which of the peninsulas Medusa's on and then to see which space she goes to before she petrifies. Let's so see the artisan. Hopelessness, each counselor discards one library card. That's beautiful, we don't have any. And Crisis of Faith. Atlanteans on the Mystic Power Source do not collect Mystic Energy. Man, this is amazing. I, I love getting cards that have no effect. That's pretty rare in this game. Okay, then for the Mystic. Okay, one City Floods. And wow, Calm Seas. That was a very nice turn, but maybe Medusa won't be so nice. We'll roll first for Peninsula. One to six. So one. Okay, we have one guy potentially in danger. And uh, for these, we'll always say uh, one is outermost and six is innermost. She got four. And since there are no workers there, she's going to petrify three volunteers there and just fill the space up. And by the way, I do have an option for one of my workers to kind of call out and get her attention. That uh, cancels the roll and forces her to go to their space, which can be good because it's much easier to get one worker unpetrified than clear out an entire space. I didn't want to do that the first time, but next uh, round, I bet I will. All right, now we do our action resolution. Let's see if we get some of these crystals over here first. I will do our leader last since I'm probably going to use her to uh, get one of the other ones to succeed automatically. So for the hologram, oh, a five, that's awesome. And actually the artisan player is controlling the uh, hologram, so he gets the uh, crystal. And for the worker, what the heck? Okay, I won't say no. So I guess the mystic can actually try to get something herself. Uh, no. All right, now we'll have these guys roll for their ore. Yes, and yes, awesome. And then these guys will convert, so we're getting four ore, halfway to Medusa already. And finally, this guy's drawing two library cards, keeping one, putting one on the bottom, unless I spend the one starting mystical energy the uh, mystic has. Let's see if these are good enough to do it. Unflood one flooded island tile, that's fantastic. All players may immediately exchange any number of resources, mystic energy, or library cards. Yeah, that one I don't care that much about for now, so I'm just gonna keep the rune of reprieve, that's great. Oh, you know, I forgot our one gold person, Mystic. Jeez, oh, these are great rolls. All right. So we've got two crystals, a gold, four Atlantium. So we could actually build the winged sandals if we wanted to. I was going for the sword, but wow. But honestly, I like the sword better for where we are. And it's two crystal and an Atlantium. Uh, it's, uh, geez. You know, it's a little silly, but I think I'm going to use uh, the two crystals since yellow is sharing the space with the artisan and take the discount as Atlantium just because we need to build that up quickly to take care of Medusa. All right, Wrath of the God, of course, starts on zero, so no force flips this turn, but we'll be on one next time. And player order and the hologram is going to the Mystic. And let's see what our options are. So we have the Artificer that lets us use an unbuilt component's power this turn, or the Champion that lets us take our actions when a tile floods. Let's see, I'm really liking the Artificer because we have this new component, the Echo Actualizer. It says you can draw and keep one library card, collect one Mystic Energy, and get one resource of your choice, but only the Hologram can use it, which is going to work perfectly in this case. So, heck yes, let's do it. All right, so placement again. The big thing is I want to get the Artificer to uh, build another component and get the Mirror Shield, and we'll try to take out Medusa after only two rounds. So we'll have him there. And he's got all the Atlantium, so let's just keep that going and not even worry about bringing the Mystic into it. So a uh, one, two again, that seemed to work pretty well. And we'll do one, two here as well. Although we'll be one short if things don't go as planned. Well, here's the thing though. I can have one of the yellow workers draw Medusa over to make sure she doesn't attack them. So with that in mind, let's put them on the safer spaces where uh, we'd have to have three floods in a row. That's pretty unlikely. The hologram is, of course, going on the Echo Actualizer, like I mentioned. Let's uh, draw Medusa somewhere innocuous, like the <laughs> highest city space. I oh, know, I guess, oh, no, I don't think I can go there unless I have at least two people, so never mind. Let's draw her to uh, the highest library space. 
Uh, the Mystic going to a diamond space again, seems to make sense. Then go go to the library again. And sure, what the hey, we'll uh, dig for some gold. Okay, the Mystic's two misfortune cards. Let's see if we're as lucky as last time. Okay, the Forges and the Cities again. Now, we're not gonna have too much chance to get more workers, are we? As for the Artisan, we've got the Library, that's fine. Oh, and Sabotage. Oh my gosh, thank God. I hate this card. I'm so glad these are coming up early. I'll remove from the Cosmic Gateboard one component that has been built. It must be built again. We didn't build anything, so get out of here. Although it does point out that maybe we should be building things, but we'll worry about that later. And before Medusa has the chance to randomly go for someone, hey, come over here. She's going to petrify this one guy. And uh, later on, if I have somebody in that space which actually now makes me think maybe I should have picked a better space, I can spend one Mystic Energy to get that worker back. So, yeah, you know, that was... Actually, that was... Uh, maybe I'll put him down here instead. Yes. Let's say that uh, this guy is calling for Medusa instead, since I actually want to go there again. All right, so actions first. The really important one is to get my ore. I probably should have done something to kind of hedge my bets there. Oh, crud, I totally forgot to assign the Crystal Sword. That'll make things easy. Now, the Artisan and the Mystic built it together, so he could, I think, technically give it to either of them. But let's say that he kept it for himself. So each round, I can put one of my workers on the token. And now he and everyone in his space will get the bonus, which means I need a one or higher to get my ore. Uh, let's see if we do it. Hey, we did. Great. That means these guys will bring back four more Atlantium. Beautiful. Let's see what we get from the library. We're looking at two, uh, keeping one and throwing away one. Doctrine of Persistence. Choose a wild peninsula. Any Atlantean that has or will fail its action there may be laid on its side instead of being returned to the counselor pool. Next round, these Atlanteans automatically succeed. Very cool. Puzzle of Production. One leader in a wild peninsula may take its action two additional times this round. It's not as great. Although, actually, I guess that would count the holograms, so that could be pretty good. Well, hey, you know what? The Mystic's got an extra Mystic energy. I think uh, rather than trashing this card, I'll keep them both. All right, let's roll for my one gold. Or actually, I guess uh, let's use the Echo Actualizer first. So I get another library card, one Mystic Energy, and a resource of my choice. The library card, and this will bring the Mystic to four, by the way. Ooh, it's an artifact, Creation Prism. At the start of each round, choose one player to gain one Mystic Energy. Oh, this game is coming up Mike everywhere. And let's see, my one resource, I'm realizing I don't know whether I'm gonna get uh, diamonds or gold. You know, I think I'm actually going to get Atlantium because I'm about to spend seven of it, which means my production of it is kind of way behind. All right, this guy's going to roll for gold. Got it. Wow. And first the worker rolls. And okay, so we will use the Mystic's ability to guarantee the one crystal. And finally, your friend of mine, the Artisan, will build the Mirror Shield, uh, getting a one discount. And, you know, I forgot that I had uh, kept one last time, so I actually had more than I thought I needed. And this means next turn, I can draw Medusa to whoever has the mirror shield, and they will convert her to her good side, and we'll get another leader. Fantastic. But first, we have to endure the wrath of the gods. I think uh, the first ore spot seems like a good choice. And we're going to another turn. Uh, I can get a mystic energy to anybody. Let's uh, get the artist into two. And I probably should be building components, but part of me wants to get the winged sandals this turn. Uh, that's a lot of resources, though, and I haven't built any components yet. But before we do that, let's see who the hologram is going to be. Astrologer or priest? Priest uh, lets you reroll failed rolls. And astrologer lets you place uh, her and two other Atlanteans after you do the Suffer Misfortune. So you can put them on like really good spots that didn't flood. I like that one better, I think. All right, so we do have to put one worker with the mirror shield to draw Medusa out. Uh, let's put him there. I'm going to fill the spot up and give one of them the sword. So now they need a three or more to get gold for each of them. Nice. And I'll put the Artificer on a build spot again. He can either build the Winged Sandals or just build a component. I can decide later. As for the Mystic, I think if it's not broken, don't fix it. That's been working for us. And she can get an ore for conversion later on. And we do have the Hologram and one worker for each person left. Uh, we'll get to place with the Astrologer power after we see the Misfortunes. All right, two for the Artisan. Hills and Forests. So by the way, someone that is petrified and then the water comes to reach them, they die and they're just removed from the game. But I am glad that things are so balanced so far. Guess for the Artisan, Calm Seas, and a Controlled Flood. I have to pick two to flood and I can't prevent it. Let's see, everything is flooded once, so none of these are good choices. I feel like I'm getting gold pretty heavy early, so let's do that. And then I guess one of these, I think I need the Atlantium Conversion more than I need the ore getting in the first place. 
All right, Medusa comes over, sees the shield, it shatters. And we now get her as a bonus leader, and she basically doubles the city's action, so she'll get you two followers or four volunteers when she goes there. And we'll make Medusa this friendly uh, blue figure. And something I'm not 100% sure on is whether she petrifies the people when she, the curse gets broken. I'm going to assume not, but the rules do clarify that uh, you don't for anyone else who's petrified. So to get that yellow worker back, I have to send somebody there and uh, use a mystic energy, which shouldn't be too bad. All right, so with that crisis averted, let's uh, get to resourcing. So each of these guys needs a three for gold. Let's see. One, two. Okay. I could spend two mystic energy. That's not worth it. I'll just uh, take the two gold. Meanwhile, over here for crystal, for yellow. Hmm. She could spend her one mystic energy to collect, but the chances of the leader also rolling a five or six are pretty low, so we'll just use the leader's ability to make sure we get the crystal. Oh, wait, wait, crud. <laughs> I totally forgot to place people with the holograms ability. So the biggest one is I want to put a yellow worker here because I know I need to build more components. As for the hologram and red worker, heck, let's uh, free the yellow guy. And... I don't know, I guess uh, we can try for a crystal. All right, so Mystics, roll for an ore, got it. And the artisan will spend one of his two Mystic Energy to free our only uh, main worker petrified. And the nice thing is that both his workers will still get to take their actions for this turn. So before we do that, then let's uh, use a library card to unflood a tile because otherwise the Mystic can't hold another card. Yeah, the city's kind of worried me the most because I have so many workers left to get, especially with Medusa's power. All right, so the artisan will draw his library cards first. Ancient Atlas makes an entire peninsula's numbers one less this round. Nice. And draw and play Misfortune, then unflood one tile. That's not that impressive. I'll go ahead and put that on the bottom. As for the Mystic, oh my gosh, another artifact? Once per round, when a tile floods, you may move all your Atlanteans there to the Mystic Power Source. That's okay. Not as good as one free Mystic Power return, I think. Enigma of Alacrity. One leader in a civilized peninsula may take its action one additional time this round. Oh my gosh. So with Medusa, I could just like get every worker ever. Yeah, let's do that. Now let's finish up, see if the hologram can get a crystal neck now. All right now, both our people can construct, and I don't know. The artisan could spend everything he has to get the winged sandals, and that could get us bonus actions multiple times a turn. I can even have the person with the sandals go with the person who has the sword. Yeah, they seem cool. Let's do it. All right, so he's got the sword and the sandals. That should be fun. Meanwhile, the mystic has one Atlantium, two gold, and two crystal. She could get the Astral Watchtower, the Recollection Engine. Well, she could just afford the Entropy Drive. I've always liked this one. I mean, it's random what you get, but unless you roll a one or a two, and even a two is fine, you get uh, guaranteed resources. Yeah, let's go for this. All right, hey, it took a while, but we finally built a component. Let's try to get some more now. But first, we've got Wrath of the Gods. I'm feeling pretty good on library cards. I think I can let uh, those go away for a bit. All right, the Mystic's going to give the one Mystic energy to herself because the Artisan's got the sandals and the sword and crazy stuff. And two holograms. The Explorer or the Guardian. Guardian can come off the board to cancel a flood. That's pretty great. Explorer reduces the number to roll by one. I like the Guardian better. So, let's see. Medusa is clearly going on the cities, especially with the uh, two bonus. And Yellow will join her. That way she can split the bonus worker she gets between them. And if we double her action, we'll get two workers for the Artisan and the Mystic. That'll be amazing. Speaking of the Artisan, I think I can do this combo. I'm going to put guys down with Winged Sandals and the Sword and just hope that that uh, Peninsula floods. We can fly somewhere else for an extra action. But I think the uh, Guardian will try to get some gold and prevent that flooding. The Mystic already has some ore, so she'll get some Atlantium. And she'll also go to build a component, because between her leftover crystal and two Atlantium, I think, yeah, she can get something. Artisan, I don't think, can build anything. He has no resources at the moment. Although with that in mind, let's put him on the Entropy Drive. Let's see, with that in mind, I think she'll go get some gold. I'll actually leave a spot in case uh, the Winged Sandals work. I can send the person with the sword over here to help out. And the Artisan, I guess, will try to get some ore. Again, won't build this turn. Okay, misfortunes for the Mystic. Let's hope for a Forest card. Hey, there we go. So these two guys get to immediately take their action, and then they can move anywhere else. And they both need a three because of a sword, so first one... Uh, I'll spend a Mystic Energy to get the crystal. And second one, come on... Ah, jeez. Well, I shouldn't complain too much, it was free. So I'll send them with a sword over here like planned. And, you know, I'll send the other one over here. If I get lucky, that'll also flood and I'll get another free action. Okay, second card for the Mystic. A controlled flood. I think I can pick where the guy with the sandals are. We've got to do one other one. Let's keep doing the libraries. Uh, hopefully they won't get to the city, though. And then here he gets a three to get an orb. Ah, come on, I don't have any mystic energy. Darn it. Let's see. Mountains? Oh my gosh. 
Well, thank God we did that, because now I think all three of them can fly after they get an action. All right, so let's see. We need fours. There we go. One, two. Okay, just two. Now, I guess they'll all fly over to get to have some Atlantium. So let's see. We can do one, two in case of that floods as well. And then my leader can go over to the gold. Finally, cities again, but Medusa's fine. All right, let's go ahead and roll for Medusa first. We've got plus two from the Wrath of the Gods chart. So we just need a six or higher. And wow, barely got it. And we will play the Enigma of Alacrity to let her do it again. With the first success, we'll get a worker for each of them. Right, come on, Medusa, you froze the people, now inspire them, yes. So boom, in one turn, we have almost all of our permanent workers, nice. Right, let's roll for the gold, our four people here, are the Mystic's Hologram first, yes. The Artificer, yes, nice. And then up here, they only need threes. So let's do the Artificer first. Uh, the Mystic's Worker. Uh, we'll spend a Mystic Energy since they have two. And the Mystic Leader. Yes. Okay, they all got knocked. So a lot of gold. That should be pretty close to okay at this point. And up here, they're all converting for two. So we're fairly flush for Atlantium now as well. Yeah, this will show you both of them have a nice mix. Now I wish I'd sent one of those workers to uh, build with the Artisan. But instead, he's on the Entropy Drive and we get a free Atlantium. I won't say no. So just the Mystic can build and she's got two Atlantium, one Crystal, three gold. With the three gold, I think the best choice is that Echo Actualizer that lets the hologram do uh, crazy things. All right, so we've really mobilized our resources. We have a ton of workers now, but yikes, we only have two things built, and the Wrath of the Gods is already at two, which means a lot is about to flood. Looking at our Atlantium stores, we have seven, and we only need four more total to build all the components, including the power core, whereas we're seven shy for gold and nine shy for crystal. See, I think as harsh as it might be, I'm going to double flood the forges. I can use my new Echo Actualizer with the hologram each turn to get a free Atlantium, and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll be enough. All right, going into the next round, things are looking a little bleak. We'll give the free Mystic Energy to the Artisan since they don't have any. We have so many workers, we have the Winged Sandals. I'm feeling good about all of that. So let's do our little combo again here, Winged Sandals and uh, Sword. And I forgot to draw for the Hologram Guardian or, oh, Search Artifacts. We didn't get the Scholar last time. Uh, I mean, I don't care. I'm going to put them on the uh, the space to get to so much stuff, I think, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, speaking of, put the hologram on the Echo Actualizer. And I'll put a random yellow worker on the Entropy Drive. And I'm just going to trust that we get enough stuff. I'm going to put uh, one worker of each color on a different uh, build space to get components. Let's send Medusa and a yellow worker to get our last people. I mean, I guess we'll go all the way up here. It's the same number regardless. I'll send the uh, Mystic and one worker to guarantee a crystal. Send two more yellow workers to get gold along with a red. And then uh, two more there. Well, actually, you know, since these are all fives, let's uh, go like that. That way we can winged sandal over if we get a chance. First, we have darkness. Discard nine cards from the top of the library deck. Fine with that. Okay, the hills. That's not the spot I wanted for my winged sandals. Oh, man, panic. All Atlanteans move inland to the next unflooded tile. Oh, my gosh. I think that means that that happened, so now I feel dumb. I forgot that card even existed, or I would have uh, not been on the inside. That's going to devastate me. Uh, but these guys go up there. And finally, the mountains. Well, that was the only positive news from that round. Well, hey, each of us is getting uh, three Mystic Energy. I guess we'll build some uh, gates. Now let's roll for crystals first. We need a four with the swords bonus. A two. Uh, do I want to spend the Mystic Energy? I don't think I do, because I want to build a uh, gate. Darn it, a one, okay. All right, how about over here? Uh, first gold for yellow, second gold, there we go, got something. And for the other guys, first, yes, second. Okay, I will spend a Mystic Energy for that, even though that means I can't build the gate yet. All right, let's roll for the Entropy Drive. A two, as oh, so we just get a volunteer for next turn. Meanwhile, the Hologram. Oh, we'll get us back the uh, Energy, so I'm gonna have both of them build a uh, Mystic Barrier. I guess we'll put one here and one there. And we still get a library card. Ooh, pay one less resource when building a component, nice. And one free resource, we'll keep plugging Atlantium because we don't really have much way to get it anymore. Okay, what are they gonna build? The Mystic had a cruddy turn, so she only has two Atlantium and one gold. Luckily, that lets us build something. The possibility multiplier, there's a new one. Uh, next round, five plus spaces on the Cosmic Gate Board are available for use. So we could, for example, build three spaces. We could have two people go on the Entropy Drive. As for the Artisan, no crystal, actually one crystal, but a ton of Atlantium and gold. So you look at the really expensive prediction module, three gold and two Atlantium. All right, so we're almost halfway. 
And then we have to do two Wrath of the Gods and three next turn. I mean, what the hey? I think I'm just going to make sure that those uh, get used right now. All right, next round. Let's keep it going. Hmm. Champion. I could actually have the hologram do that instead of going to the thing. But no, I mean, free resources are just too good. So the hologram will go actualize her echoes. They'll send both of them to the entropy drive. Or actually, you know what? Let's send the volunteer that yellow got last turn. And we need a lot of crystals. So winged uh, shoes, sword, a leader with a friend. Medusa, you got plus three this time, so I guess get us some workers. And besides that, I think we'll just get a bunch more resources or try for them. Oh, let's give the free mystic energy to the artisan, I think. And I'll put both of them on build again. Well, actually, ooh, let's use the uh, ancient atlas here this turn. Put another red guy here and I'll try to get some gold for yellow. Well, yeah, okay, we'll, uh, we'll send these guys to build and just hope we actually get the chance to do so. All right, here we go. Hills, okay. Forges, don't mind that at all. Mountains, uh, getting a little close to the end. And libraries, sorry stoned people. Well, kind of a bummer we didn't get to use the winged shoes, but everything else worked out pretty well. Let's roll for Medusa first. She has plus three from Wrath of the Gods. There we go. So we got our last permanent workers. Uh, let's do our crystal. So these guys only need a uh, five minus two minus one. They only need a two each. Yes. And yes, nice. The other guys need fives. First two, got one. Second two. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I should have rolled that one at a time because of the leader's ability, but I'll take it, whatever. Okay, let's keep the dream alive. Get me some gold, please. All right, two gold, wow. And Mystic, can you do it too? Uh, three and four. Ah, oh, she doesn't have any Mystic energy, darn it. You know, I am going to use Doctrine of Persistence, so I'll just like put it right under these guys, so they'll get two gold automatically next turn. All right, both yellow and red are rolling for a free thing. Yellow gets a crystal, fine. And red gets, what is it? Oh, Atlantium, awesome. So we're still two Atlantium short of what we need, so I'll have the holograms action get one. Also get some Mystic Energy. I'm realizing now I should have done that earlier, so I could have used it. And, ooh, Ritual of Relocation. So I can move one who gets flooded. That'll be nice. All right, so looking at resources and remaining components. I'm three shy on Crystal, two shy on Gold, and one shy on Atlantium. So, man, we are close. I know I'm getting two automatic Gold next turn. Darn, you know, I should have tried to build uh, three components this turn. All right, so the Mystic has a ton of Crystal, but only one Atlantium. So she'll build the Quantum Relay this turn, which should lead her pretty open for next turn. The Artisan is pretty flush. He's going to build the Cognitive Transfer. We get three library cards and distribute them among us. That'll certainly help us hopefully survive next turn. Okay, let's see. Ballad of Courage. This round, whenever any one of your followers would be returned to your pool when a tile floods, they first take their action. Awesome. A Mystic needs more resources. Let's give that to her. The library of Unity. Choose a Wild Peninsula. One additional Atlantean will be placed on each of its tiles this round. The artisan has to hold that. He's the only one with room. Okay, now chemical formula. Discard a resource and take two resources from the supply, each of which must be different from the resource discarded and from each other. Awesome. So that should really help me shore things up. Okay, so we're getting to the end here. The problem is we got to survive two turns because uh, we can only build two at a time. I wish I had built more. And controlled flood is three every time. Let's just get rid of the cities. I'm not planning to use that anymore. So if we can survive this round, uh, survive the Wrath of the Gods, then I think next round we just have to survive our misfortunes. We don't have to survive Wrath of the Gods and we can uh, teleport away. So these guys are getting the gold we need. We're already good. And actually, if I use Alchemical Formula on a gold and get just one more, that will uh, let me get the one Atlantium we're missing and one of the three crystal we need. So with that in mind, we kind of sort of just need to get one gold and two crystal, and I think we're good. So let's do Winged Sandals and Sword, try to get the crystal that way. Hologram, of course, is going on the Echo Actualizer. And I forgot one free Mystic Energy. Let's give it to the Artisan. And let's do this combo to ensure another crystal. And then even a few more. Uh, let's have this guy go over here to try to get some more gold. You know, I think uh, the rest, except for the people building, will just get us Mystic Energy, right? So I'll keep one of each color to build. And then, yeah, it's only five Mystic Energy. I kind of wish I had more. Although actually five will be exactly enough for both of them to build barriers, so we'll make it work. Right, here we go, misfortunes. Libraries, fine. Oh my gosh. You know, I had the card that lets me uh, search for and get rid of special cards, and I didn't use it. Yeah, I think that's probably game over. I can't build components this turn, and there's no way I can survive for two more full turns. 
But let's play it out. Okay, mountains were sort of okay. And controlled flood two sections. Well, the good thing is we can have our winged guys go. And one of them got a crystal. And the guy with the sword will go to help them get crystal. And the guy with the shoes will go to the gold place, I guess. And I guess I can go ahead and flood the gold place. And I'll spend a mystic energy, sure. And I'll send him to get mystic energy uh, after he gets the gold. All right, well, let's do this quickly. Uh, he needs a four. Uh, don't want to spend the mystic energy, so he'll just fail. Uh, the other yellow guy. Okay, the leader will make sure he gets it. Uh, these two guys, I'm not going to spend mystic energy. No. All right, I roll for the one. Maybe gold. No. The two yellow guys get it from the library card. All right, and then each of us is getting enough mystic energy to spend it all and get two barriers. So we'll do one there, of course. And uh, one there. And the hologram will get us a crystal. Another mystic energy and a library card. One later on a component may activate it one additional time this round. And like planned, I'll trade in a gold with alchemical formula to get a uh, crystal in Atlantium. And man, look how much stuff we have to build with, but no such luck. Okay, and Wrath of the Gods, yay! Yeah, I just counted. I have more than enough resources in every type. So as goofy as it is, I guess every single worker will just go into the middle and we'll hope we survive. So yeah, there we go. Oh, of course, I do have two workers over there. Right, come on, baby. Cities, fine. Calm seas, nice. Mountains, uh, yes, we stop it. And controlled flood, oh crud. Can't use that to stop it, so I don't know. Bam, and bam. <laughs> Lord. All right, so how much are we getting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the artificer. And he's already got one, so that'll let us build two. So we'll go bam, bam. And then uh, eight with the hologram for yellow. So that's uh, two more. And then, I don't know, Wrath of the Gods is just a guess. We'll go one, two, uh, what's been drawn more? Who the heck knows? Uh, sure, it seems like the hills have come up a decent amount. And then we gotta build two things. Uh, the Mystic can get the Astral Watchtower, and the Artisan can get wherever the heck he wants. He'll do the Augur Turbine. Ooh, this actually helps. Draw three Misfortune, then discard any number, and return the rest of the top of the deck. Okay, <laughs> so this is actually pretty important. Okay, Libraries, that would be bad. Forest. We've got a gate there, so that's okay. Calm seas, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna discard the library, leave these on tap. All right, one free mystic energy. Or we gotta send our leaders to build the cosmic core. And then the artificer has the rest of the material, so he'll build the other remaining component. Everybody else is here in the middle praying. Them getting mystic energy won't matter. The shoes won't matter. Nothing will matter. Except for these cards. Forest, we knew about. Calm seas, beautiful. Here we go, last two cards for the win or the loss. Ooh, Calm Seas, yes! I think this is happening, I think this is happening. Mountains, yes! Oh. <laughs> okay, so now God help us, hope that I counted correctly. There's a two crystals in Atlantium for the Artificer's build. We have way more than enough crystal. Three gold for two, two Atlantium, three power, yes! So here we go, the gate is open, Medusa is redeemed, we all make it out, except for those volunteers who died, sorry for them. So here's Atlantis Rising 2nd Edition with the print and play expansion, check it out. And if you like what you see on the channel, consider joining our Slack or our Discord. You can also support us on Patreon, get some really cool perks. And please subscribe to the channel, and be sure to listen to our weekly podcast every Sunday. Good gaming, and we'll see you at the next stop.